guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be continuing our community zoo project um, for Mrs. T-Rex's tiger community zoo and in this video we are going to be building a snow leopard habitat. So um, this habitat is actually based off a real habitat that I've seen at Dudley Zoo and Gardens based in Birmingham UK. Um, it is a little bit small for the snow leopards I will admit that. Um, however it does sort of like the idea of this habitat would be that you walk past it and you know you know how snow leopards are like uh, mountainous animals so you would be looking up at the snow leopards climbing around rather than looking at them on ground level so um, this is gonna have lots of climbing area lots of platforms you know really really get like um, that kind of like like scope of just seeing the snow leopards in their sort of quote unquote natural habitat. Um, so I sort of made like a little template just so I could um, work out kind of the size of it. I know I wanted the sort of the habitat to kind of bend around this corner and I knew it was also going to be on a hill so I had to take those into consideration when I was building this. Um, essentially it's just a chain link habitat. Um, it's dead simple but I think it's really effective um, with how it sort of turns out. So. I had to kind of, you know, line it all up as much as I could, which wasn't too easy. Um, sometimes it can be quite tricky. Uh, and then once I did that, I just finished it off and brought the fence to where I wanted it to, and then built it really, really high, and then set set like um, anti climb on it so the cats can't climb out of it. And then, yeah, it was just a case of building up this wall a little bit more and continuing this kind of wall on the top to make it feel like a very strong structural frame. Again, this is all the arctic pieces, we're continuing on with that kind of wooden theme that we've got going on. Um, so it's just wanting to make it kind of feel like it's a really big sturdy structure. Um, it's a little bit cage-like, I must admit this habitat is a little bit cage-like. Um, but I mean when you go to um, zoos and things you often have like covered big cat habitats and that's kind of what I was going for here. Um, so yeah, I've gone for this kind of snowy, arctic kind of a theme. Um, and I kind of wanted to have it enclosed because then I, I wanted to have snow in it and I feel like you can then maybe justify the snow a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I was just trying to make sure all of this is accessible for our snow leopards as well. Um, trying to keep it smooth and just start building like some climbing frame pieces and stuff like that. Um, and get it kind of, you know, fitting together nicely. Um, we've got all these wonderful build pieces now that you animals can climb on so it's important to make sure that we we're using all of those um so again I, I didn't really know what i was doing i was just sort of making this little bit up as i went along um but i knew that i wanted to have like some climbing area and i thought well i'll put in these trees maybe they want to go sit in the trees um and then i'd also just again build like kind of rock shelters and it's you know we've got these wonderful artificial rocks that we've got from the um aquatic pack now and it just really kind of sells that kind of this is an artificial habitat made for the animals kind of a thing which is what I was going for here and it works really well it fits in really well with the theming of the area as well which I you know I was actually amazed at how well it kind of fits in and the snow leopards can access most areas here too which is also really cool so it works as like a functional habitat but um yeah so um again it was just an effort of having all these things that the snow leopards can climb across and making sure that you know they're going up and down we really really wanted to emphasize those different layers that they're going to have to climb on um, as opposed to just having you know like a kind of flat area let's make it kind of you know interesting for them um, because you know they do like to be quite high up anyway um, in fact the ones at Dudley Zoo sit on the platforms right at the top furthest away from you so you can't see them um, and they're really quite happy like climbing and things um, there are a couple of issues with the current blueprint file um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to update it unfortunately um, the couple of issues are that the animals can climb out of the habitat if they climb this tree that I'm building here so you might want to just take off a couple of the top branches and they shouldn't be able to climb out um, just some of the things I've noticed whilst I've been doing some recording and watching them like in their habitat and stuff like that so just something to bear in mind but otherwise this does work as a functional habitat I mean this habitat could be for not just for snow leopards it could be for the clouded leopards it could be for the proboscis monkey some monkeys could go in this too maybe the Japanese macaques because um, there is you know climbing stuff for them so 
you know, there's a lot of things that they could do. You could put in, change out the climbing frames and do some other stuff to it. But it's just a really nice, kind of neat habitat, really. And it really, like, was what I was going for. Like, often I imagine things and they don't turn out how I imagine them when I start building them. But this one, this one really, really looked how I wanted it to. So I'm very pleased with this one. Um, probably one of my favourites so far. So yeah um i wanted to make sure they had a little pool as well a little arctic pool for them to go chill in and like a waterfall again from the aquatic pack and i just i wanted it to feel as natural as possible um so this is the pool um in the fin finished habitat i do change the water transparency so you can see the lights and the rocks underneath uh, but yeah this is what the roof is made out of i really wish we had chain link frontier if you could give us pieces of chain link like this i would love you forever rather than this just trellis um just so we can fill in those roof pieces really so um yeah and then just you know getting in all the enrichment items making sure that the snow leopards can actually access all these enrichment items um keep them moving around their habitat and just stuff like that and then copy and pasting this row by row so i copy and paste it all row by row and then i rotate it so it fits this other side because they're technically the same length so there is a little bit of an overlap which does look a little bit janky but it would be nice if we could have something in the game that Kind of like what um, Prehistoric Kingdom has got with the chain link deal. Uh, which reminds me, I need to finish that Microraptor habitat. I really don't want to finish it because it's just such a faff. Um, I ha have, haven't really played Prehistoric Kingdom much, to be honest. Um, not really had the time. It's on my to playlist, I think, when it gets developed more, but at the moment, there's just not a lot I can do with it. We are on the tour kind of side of things now. So, um, essentially, as this is the finished habitat now. Um, there's been a few bits of things that I've kind of done off screen, so I thought I'd talk you through those as well. Um, but yeah, this is our snow leopard habitat. Uh, let's get that waterfall going. It's a bit laggy, so I apologise if there's a little bit of lag. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find our snow leopards. They seem to be enjoying their habitat. Oh, big yawn. Big yawn. From a little pussycat. Um, so yeah, when you come down here, you get a really good view of what the habitat looks like too. Um, like, if you're a snow leopard. Oh, they are playing with each other. How cute is that? They're so cute. The animation in this game are brilliant. I, I love it. Um, so, yeah, just come off of that. And then, yeah, they, they essentially can... Sorry. Um, go to heat maps you can see the, the whole traversable area uh, for these guys because they've got quite the traversable area like there isn't a section really of this habitat that they can't climb on which is kind of what I was going for I wanted them to be able to climb all around this habitat get to all these different like levels that we've got up here and it's it's really really worked so yeah I'm very pleased with this habitat in total I think it just it looks really really aesthetic um, the snow leopards, it's small, I'm going to be honest, it's too small for two snow leopards, but they, uh, well, they're just flying over there. Uh, they definitely, um, it definitely works for various, like, other animals as well. This would be very good for, um, say, like, the, the clouded leopard, as well as, like, you know, possibly some monkey species, red panda species as well. Like, um, it is on the small side, as I said, but... I mean, I just love how it looks. I really, really love this aesthetic from this angle. We've got the castle in the background, and yeah, it's just a really, really nice habitat. I'm so pleased. It's so simple to make as well. Um, it's on the workshop, so if you're interested in having this in your own zoos, then go for it. Just be mindful it is a little bit small for um, for the clouded leopards. So you'll maybe only be able to have one or two in there. But yeah. Um, so I'll just show you again some of the other stuff that I've done. Um, I've done all this rock work on this side, so the idea is, is that, you know, from this view, we have this lovely kind of lookout section here, and yeah, it just, it is all coming together nicely, really. I love how it's looking. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave you now with the cinematics, um, of these guys just wandering around and enjoying this habitat, um, and yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do check it out if you're interested because um, I'm super pleased with this habitat. Like, I think it's, it's super realistic, which is what I like about it. Um, 
that's kind of the end of I was going for. So yeah, uh, take care guys, and I will see you in the next one.